welcome. My name is Dr. Matthew Westgate. I'm the director of Wind Studies at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. And welcome to the 2021 virtual UMass Underband for All. Come on in. Welcome to the Fine Arts Center Auditorium. And as you can see, it's empty. There hasn't been music here for quite a while, and we're all missing it. Things are difficult right now, but music must go on and band must go on. Community is more important than ever, and band is an important community. The reason we hold Honor Band at UMass is to bring people together to play music with new people. Since we can't do that in person this year, we wanted to do something that we thought would serve you, our band community. So I asked my colleagues and my students to help me make this video for you, to let you know we're thinking of you, we miss you, and we are all in this together. This is our virtual honor band, and you are all invited to participate. Along the way, I hope you learn something too. You probably noticed that there's a playlist of videos from our applied teachers that accompany this video. Those can hopefully be used by you and your band directors to supplement your online band classes. Some provided excellent lessons that were specific to their own instrument. Some offered some musical concepts that could be applied to all music making. Some shared performances. Some made some videos about their studio. And some did a variety of all of those things. I love the creativity that came out of this project. And I sincerely hope you'll take some time to check out those, those videos that our applied teachers make, especially the one on your instrument, but take some time to look at the others as well. So let's get this started with a brief message from one of our students, Zoe Stinson. Zoe is a saxophonist in the wind ensemble, a drum major in the marching band, and an all around awesome person. Take it away, Zoe. My name is Zoe Stinson, and I am a senior music education and saxophone performance major at UMass. And one of my favorite activities every year is participating in the behind the scenes and on stage activities of Honor Band. This experience is truly just as fun for us music students as it is for you. And we love engaging with you and giving you a taste of our daily life in the music department. If you are a saxophone player, you might normally be sitting next to me in a concert with the wind ensemble, or I might be directing a sectional on music that you're playing for the day. I truly miss playing with all of you so much, and I wish we could all be together to make music during these trying times. But in lieu of Honor Band, we hope this video shows you that we are thinking of you and can't wait to be back together again in the future. If you've been to Honor Band in person before at UMass, you know that we typically have three bands, and that means three conductors. So now we have two short videos, one from Dr. Timothy Todd Anderson, the conductor of the Minuteman Marching Band and the Concert Band, and one from Dr. Daniel Albert, a music education faculty member. Hello, Tim Anderson coming to you from the George M. Parks Minuteman Marching Band Building from my office here on the second floor. Not in this office a whole lot these days, but I will return, as will all of us will return to full-time band activities. We still had a Minuteman Marching Band this past fall. This is my 10th year at UMass. It may have not been an in-person marching band, but there was still a UMass Minuteman Marching Band this past fall. And if there's one thing I've learned in my 22 years as a music educator now, it's just how important band is as community. It's sure it's wonderful to make music and you always want to sound the best and you always want to put the greatest thing together. But over all that, there's that special feeling and you know it, you know it in your high school bands. You know what I'm talking about. There's that special feeling that comes from I'm in the band. It's something you belong to. It's, it's a community. It's, it's family. Band is family. Band, band is for everyone. As my predecessor, the great George Parks famously said, band is for everyone. It's that unique bond. And so even though we didn't have an in-person UMass marching band this fall, we still had a marching band that not only survived, but it thrived online because band is family we connect. And that's the same thing that you are all dealing with here. And it will come back. When we come back to life physically, we'll have a band ready to go because we kept things going online when we were apart. This spring here at UMass, we're actually trying a little bit of a marching band. 
it won't be the same for starters. It's in it's in the spring, not the fall. There won't be any football to play for. And hey, we're going to have to deal with starting out when it's pretty cold. And there's some limitations. We can't ever be inside with the wind players. And we can only have no more than 40 together one time. So we can't have like the color guard, the percussion, and the winds together. But we can still get together in some forms, be it just sectionals or mini bands. There's ways to make it work that we are going to make it work. Because it's too important not to. We need band. We know how much band means to each and every one of us. You know how much band means to you. And so we have that community because there's just something about being together, isn't there? There's just something about being together, making music together, working towards a goal, putting it, put it on a halftime show, marching a parade, playing a song, whatever it is, that collective goal, that working together, it's just something awesome. And so when even you can't be together in person, being together virtually, it's still community. Band is community. And so that's all we put together on that. So... With that, Maya, I want to thank you again for, for checking this out. Thanks for being a part of the UMass Honor Band, at least as we're doing it virtually. Come back next year bigger and better than ever in person, and we want you to be part of that. And just keep being in band. This will pass. Pandemic's passed. The flu pandemic of 1918, life went on after it. Life will continue, and there will be bands, and you want to be part of the bands. Hope to see you at UMass. And if I don't see you at UMass, I want to see you in band wherever you are. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Daniel Alberts and I'm an assistant professor of music education here at UMass Amherst. I want to thank Dr. Matthew Westgate for inviting me to be a part of this Honor Band 2021 event and for all the work that he's done to put these different pieces together. It's really been an extraordinary time here in our lives for now almost a year, something that I've never experienced in my over 20 years in public education and I'm sure your music teachers feel the same way. Part of my job at UMass Amherst, in addition to teaching people how to become music teachers, is to go out to schools and observe our student teachers working with real life students like yourselves, as well as working with our music teachers and learning from some of the best here in the Commonwealth. I've had to go in virtually to observe our student teachers due to several different factors with the university. And I have to tell all of you that I have just been amazed and floored at all of the fantastic work that has been done with music teaching and learning throughout this pandemic. Your music teachers have had to think quickly on their feet through a largely virtual teaching environment. And what I've seen has just really been amazing. The creativity, the resilience, all of it. And for all of you students, the just sticking with it all and just persevering through it has just really been inspirational for me as a person, for me as an educator and as a musician. So thank you for all that you do and that you're going to continue to do until we're safe to come back face to face in our teaching spaces. I'm very much looking forward to the day when we can all come together and make music. And of course, I'm especially looking forward to Honor Band 2022. So before I pass it on to the next person, the next event here at Honor Band 2021, I just want to say to our seniors who are graduating this year, I wish you all the best in your future's endeavors, whatever they may be. If you're a junior going to be a senior next year, I'm looking forward to seeing you here at UMass. And if you're interested in music education as a career, please feel free to reach out to me. My uh, email address can be found by going to our UMass Music Department website, that's umass.edu slash music, then go to the People tab, and then I'm among the first up at the top there, just find Dr. Daniel Albert. And just feel free to reach out, say hello. If you have any questions or you wanna to get together virtually, I'd be happy to chat with you. Uh, and see uh, what we can do to bring you here on campus, whether that is as a major or just to participate in our wonderful musical ensembles with some of our fabulous faculty here in our department. And one final word, I wanna thank all of our music teachers out there again for all that you have done for your students. Uh, you know, as a former music teacher, in our public schools in Massachusetts. It's just so great to see everything that you have done, and I'm so proud to be a part of this profession. So thank you for all that you do. Take care and enjoy the rest of your Honor Band 2021. Music making during this time is a challenge for all of us. We're all having to get creative. So this past fall, the Wind Ensemble was only allowed to meet in groups of 20 outside. Even with those challenges, I am happy to report that we do have some music to share with you today. Here's a short outdoor performance of Tilman Susado's La Marisque from The Dancery.
Another feature of Honor Band is to bring in a special composer each year to work with the students on his or her music. This year, our guest was going to be Jose Ignacio Blesalul, a composer and conductor from Spain. Luckily, he's agreed to come back next year in 2022, but right now we have a special greeting from him all the way from Valencia, Spain. Hello, everyone. My name is Jose Ignacio Blesalul. I'm a composer and conductor from Valencia, Spain. And I was supposed to be the composer in residence for the UMass Honor Band in 2020, 2021. But unfortunately, with all the situation is going on around the world, that's not going to be possible. So I wanted to invite you to the UMass Honor Band next year, 2022. I am a UMass alumni, so I just came back from Amherst last year in 2020, where I was studying my master's in with conducting with Dr. Westgate. Uh, and since I came back, I'm resuming my, my activities first as a teacher. I'm teaching in a public conservatoire. Uh, kids from 14 to 18, mainly music theory, uh, harmony, music analysis, etc. Besides, I've been appointed the main conductor of a pretty good community band. We are around 50, 60 players, depending on the concert. And we, you, we usually play grade 5 music, which is, which is pretty, pretty cool. And I founded my own wind orchestra, where I am the main conductor too. It's called Turia Chamber Winds, and we play all the cool stuff of the of the repertoire for winds, uh, from uh, Mozart serenades, uh, Strauss serenades, and also uh, works for orchestral winds such as Stravinsky symphonies of wind instruments or Rodrigo's adagio for wind instruments, and uh, and also I am con I am continuing my activity as a composer. I have composed around fifty pieces mainly for a band, but also for other groups and chamber music. Uh, I've composed three symphonies for band, um, also a concerto for winds, concerto for so solo, solo concerto for flute, two solo concertos for clarinet, and also for euphonium, and many, many tone poems and descriptive music. You will be able to listen uh, the major part of my catalog on, on my YouTube channel, and maybe you'll notice that it's gonna sound different and maybe strange to you, since I am not from the U.S. My my, my background is uh, it's very very different than yours, but I think that's gonna be a really really cool thing to work in the Yuma Sonor Band next year, bringing all this exotic and uh, different color, different band sound to the to you to you mass and New England. So nothing else. Please join us next February in 2022. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to come back to Amherst, meeting, meet all of you, and spend that great Saturday together. So go, UMass, and see you next year. Normally, after lunch at Honor Band, we have a panel of current UMass students speak to all the participants and talk about their experience playing music in college. Some of them are music majors, some of them are not. So I've asked a few current students to talk about playing in ensembles at UMass. And following that, we'll have a short video from Nathaniel Gowan, our director of admissions. He's going to talk to you about playing music beyond high school and what that might mean. Hello, everyone. I'm Ron Bing Shen, a senior at University of Massachusetts Amherst. I'm studying music education and culinary performance. My name is Ryan, and I'm a junior music education and percussion performance major here at UMass. Hi, my name is Ethan Cogswell, and I am a uh, sophomore trumpet performance and music education major. And uh, the large ensembles and the bands at UMass are really important to me uh, and have made a really big impact on me because due to there being so many different ages in one ensemble, you can have a freshman and a senior and a grad student all in the same ensemble. There's so many different opinions and voices that get to be heard during a rehearsal or a dress rehearsal or something like that. So whether you're sitting principal in your ensemble, you could be a sophomore and right next to you is a senior and both of you have equal voices when you have a question or a thought or an opinion on something. So being able to have that shared sense of importance where nobody feels more or less valuable than somebody else is something that I really enjoy and find a lot of value in. One of my favorite things about being involved in the bands here at UMass is more than the music, the people that are involved. The people that I get to learn from and the people that I get to make music with and form relationships with. One of the great things about the bands here at UMass is that we have multiple bands 
each led by great teachers and filled with musicians who strive to make a great musical product, but more importantly, to come together and learn and grow as musicians. We respect all culture, background, and identities. Treating others with a kind and warm heart has always been our goal. And all these aspects can be reflected in the repertoires we chose to play and the rehearsals we have weekly. So I hope going forward, you appreciate all the relationships that you're able to make by being involved in band, and you learn from everybody involved, both your teachers and your peers. This is an office. This is an office I wish you could visit. In fact, this is an office I wish I could visit. It is, after all, my office. So until then, we'll have to make do with a virtual background and a carefully positioned piece of green paper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Nathaniel Gowan, and I'm the Director of Admissions, Recruitment, and Career Planning for the Department of Music and Dance at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. But you can call me Nate. My role in the music program is to mind the front door. Anyone and everyone who is curious about this awesome department and all that it has to offer talks to me first. Now, the first thing that I want you to do right now is to ask yourselves the following. Do I want to continue in music after high school? Think about what I just said. I didn't say major in music. I didn't say participate in every ensemble under the sun. I didn't say go to a conservatory. I said continue in music after high school. When you think about it, that's an incredibly broad question to ask. And I'm going to explain a little bit about what I mean by that. Now, first of all, you could continue by being a major in music. Here at UMass, for example, we offer a couple of different music degrees, a professionally geared Bachelor of Music and a liberal arts style Bachelor of Arts in Music. Each degree has a variety of different tracks, including things like music education, jazz studies, and performance. But suppose you want to major in something else, but maybe you want to continue in music too. Well, why not do both? Consider a double major. The Bachelor of Arts in Music that I mentioned is an ideal vehicle for students who want to complete two degrees and still graduate in four years. Now, maybe you're looking at another major entirely and music itself is taking a back seat a bit, but maybe you still want to do something, just not a whole major. Well, then consider the minor in music. A minor is like a slice of a major, giving you the opportunity for involvement with none of the major <laughs> pressures that a major requires. At UMass Amherst, the minor will get you lessons, classes, and even some ensemble time. In fact, a lot of students who want to do a minor approach me after they've already matriculated here at UMass Amherst. However, maybe you're ready to be done with lessons and such. Perhaps an audition for a music program eh, isn't what you want to do, but you still want to play? Check out the ensembles. At UMass, all large ensembles are open to all students to audition for, regardless of major. So if you audition for the wind band, you might get into any one of the wind ensemble, symphony band or concert band, for example. Marching band, that's a popular option too. Check it out. Now, remember the question that I asked earlier. Do I want to continue in music after high school? Notice I didn't even refer to UMass specifically. If you're on a college search right now, you might consider the breadth of these options at any college that you look at. But suppose college isn't in your future right now. Well, notice I didn't say college in that question either. Check out community bands, choirs, local orchestras looking to fill seats, or maybe just continue jamming with that jazz combo of yours on the weekends. Anything you want to do, there are ways to continue with music after high school, even without college. Now, go a step further. Suppose you put that horn away, and you might not look at it ever again. Well, that's okay. Because here's the trick, you can still continue in music after high school if you do that. Remember, one of the most vital parts of a concert is the audience. Your involvement as a patron of the arts is not something to underestimate. Look for concerts to see. Get out of the house. Be part of the applause. I can still remember what applause sounds like, and I know I can't wait to hear it live again. And I Hope you'll consider being part of the applause and the music on or off stage here at UMass Amherst. Thank you.
We have one more special message for you today, and I'm thrilled that he has agreed to participate. Colonel Jason Fettig is the conductor of the President's Own United States Marine Band. He also happens to be a UMass alumnus. When I told him about this project to make a video for a UMass Honor Band for All, he was eager to participate. So now I present to you Colonel Jason Fettig, the conductor of the President's Own United States Marine Band. Hello to the members of the 2021 UMass Honor Band. My name is Colonel Jason Fettig and I am the director of the President's Own United States Marine Band, but more importantly, I am a proud New Englander and a graduate of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. First of all, congratulations for your selection to this honor band. Dr. Westgate asked that I visit with all of you in this virtual environment, and I am very honored to do so, especially given how difficult this past year has been for all of us as performing musicians. Not only has it been really rough not to be able to play music for live audiences, but it has been equally hard to not just be able to connect with each other, with so many of our friends and our classmates and our colleagues, and to be able to create together in person. I know it has been equally difficult for your teachers, who have worked exceptionally hard to continue to make music with you and keep you motivated during this weird time, and in a way that was not really designed for us as musicians. But I'm here to tell you that we are going to make it through this. Every rain cloud eventually runs out of rain, and this one will too. And when it does, I know we are all going to run back to our band and orchestra and choir rooms to be with each other again, and I can imagine that the music we will make will be more joyful than it ever was before. So, keep your chin up, and keep making music however you can. Listen to recordings, watch YouTube videos. The Marine Band has hundreds of them on our page. Definitely keep practicing and finding music to practice that you love. You can also create video duets and trios and quartets with online software and post them on your social pages if you find the courage to share your performances. Anything you can do to remind yourself how much you love music. That will be the thing that gets you through this and that gets us through this as a musical community. I have personally searched for ways to be creative through this pandemic and have actually discovered some new things about myself and new interests that I am excited to pursue once we get back to normal. And we will get back to normal. So thank you for the invitation to be with you for a few minutes. Enjoy this virtual honor band with so many of your fellow talented New Englanders. And I look forward to hopefully seeing many of you in person when the Marine Band comes back to the Northeast on our concert tour next fall. Take care of yourselves and each other. So, thank you for joining us on this grand experiment. We hope you feel like you're part of our family here at UMass. Now, please spend some time learning from our amazing applied faculty and watch those videos that they made just for you. Keep making music in any way you can. Spread love, spread kindness, be patient and take care of one another. Band is a community and we need community more than ever. We hope to see you next year in person at Honor Band 2022. In the meantime, stay healthy, stay safe and go UMass.
Thank you.